Hey everyone, welcome back to Lords of the Fallen. So, carrying on, exhaust this guy's dialogue if you haven't already. Okay, there's an item over here. It's just a map of Pilgrim's Perch. We are going to follow this path here. Uh, now, you might have seen a couple of these red lanterns. Which we will get to in a second. We needed to go on raw anyway, so I wasn't too bothered about that. Alright, so these red lanterns, you'll even pop a trophy for this. They are sort of like a revenge mechanic as such. So it gives you a little bit, a bit of a buffed enemy. Uh, but in return, we get like tradable items and stuff like that. So this is our enemy here. Alright, we got a plucked eyeball. We got lamp bearer avenged. Stop this crap guys all right this is fine so roll on through here <coughs> grab the faint vigor skull look little guys can we stop there's about three of these uh, bell staff guys four if you want to count the one across the way nope there's just three okay I'm getting rid of all of these annoying things because they are just getting to me alright if you want to take care of this guy from range be my guest Did you die? No, you didn't. Cool. From here, we're just going to run and jump across this guy. And then across here. Now, the only reason I'm doing this is to show you just, like, the connectivity of the area. And apparently get my ass handed to me by a bunch of scrubs. Annoying. Grab that. Uh, you want to pull over the shortcut. Just so you don't need to do the jumpy crap anymore. From here we're just going to backtrack. You'll see a ladder over there. That's for way later in the game. Alright. Uh, I'm going to siphon these. And then we're going to drop down. Alright, I am going to add Holy to my weapon. I'm going to come around here for a Misery Butterfly. So we've fought one of these before. It's probably a little bit stronger than the other one. And it's in a stupid position where we can't reach it. Are you just going to stay? You're going to stay up there? Okay. Let's just shoot it with spells. So I was hoping they would fix a lot of the jank in this game, which, I'm sorry, jank's probably the wrong word. A lot of, like, just the annoying stupid crap that happens, and I guess they haven't fixed it all. I don't mind that, because, like, this game is still a 9 out of 10 for me. Alright, so anyway, with that thing dead, we'll come over here. Pick up its items, we're going to pop the umbral belly. Get rid of all these annoying guys. Sheesh. Alright. Grab the eyeball. Alright, so I believe there's eight of these in the game. Mm, we'll give or take one or two. Alright, we're going to pop all of these little exploding pustules that we can. Should be fine by now. Run to the top. Right, we have a chest to our left.
coming through here I think it's like a bleed resistance or something like that yeah all right we have a whole bunch of stupid enemies minor fire assaults now this particular area used to be way harder um, kind of glad they they nerfed it on the other hand I'm like I could have gotten used to it you want to take out those wither mages and then just open up this one here so originally when this game launched you had two cage heads and two uh, I'm gonna call them holy knights I don't actually know the names of any of the, uh, the enemies here they have a, a holy shield now they just have one holy knight all right this guy here now while these guys have their their shield up and glowing golden you can actually take damage uh, when you hit them so it's kind of interesting mechanic they do have an optional spell that they can drop uh, as far as I know it doesn't go towards a trophy because it was added in much later but it is quite a cool spell all right so take out the pilgrims I'm gonna take out this guy Alright, come over here. This is a quest item for Dunmire, uh, the priest dude. Just gonna do a quick siphon. I'm not gonna worry about healing myself because we're going into armor soon, so that'll pretty much uh, give us back a little bit of withered health at least. Um, in fact, we're doing that now because we need the stigma. That did not give us back the health. Okay, a few things have changed. Anyways, grab the stigma. We use a brio stone. All right, you want to come over here. This area can be kind of tricky, so you want to take these guys out. Uh, definitely using a couple of mana clusters here. No, stop that. All right, come over here, grab the ardent penitent head cage. It's just why I call them head cages. All right, you want to be sure that all the enemies are here because they can creep up behind you and push you off. Uh, the main concern here is the butterfly. All right, so this butterfly over here. What I'm going to do is attach holy to my weapon first. I'm going to pull ourselves over here. I'm going to use another Brio Stone cluster and I'm just solely going to go for the butterfly. Alright, that was his AoE thing that can actually throw you off the side too, so you want to be careful. Alright, with the butterfly dead, these guys might even kill me. Oh, they didn't, but the withered health. My god, the withered health. That part always freaks me out. Anyways, so we've got the despair butterfly down, we've got the belly which gives us right of something or rather, god my pronunciations are going to be crap, I'm not going to bother trying. Um, we've got an emblem, a medallion. Nice. Right, we also have another cage head coming up. So you can kind of come across here. Drop down, make sure your lantern's out. Throw them off the edge. And you'll notice this is where I said 
things were going to join up so we pulled over that shortcut and stuff like that so kind of cool I'm going to ignore these guys for now if they want they can fall to their deaths after me uh, this is going to be kind of like a little rushed area <clears throat> we do want to pull out a throwable just for the moment and I'm going to make sure I have a little bit higher health alright so from here, I wouldn't recommend planting a seed here because we can get back here relatively quickly. The aim is this belly in the middle here, but for starters we want to come around and there's a body hanging up here. Alright, pull out your lamp as soon as you've got that item. Don't push me off, so it's a lucky paw. Alright, you want to come over here and pop the belly pick up the bowl of revelation and the umbral scouring okay so this will get us our boss weapons we need to take it to mogul i think his name is mogul um the umbral guy in the sky bridge i'm just going to name people stuff and hope that people understand what i'm talking about no that's bad i should really do some research on what they're actually called Really trying not to get hit here. Cool. Right, come this way, grab the umbral vertebrae. Honestly, I just don't want to be pushed off the edge here. Um, I also don't want to fight a butterfly up here. I've never seen one spawn up there, but I mean, if that's what's happening, that's fine. We want to come to the real world here. I'm just wondering, have I got like a enemy randomizer? I, I shouldn't do because I made, made sure to turn all that off. Um, anyways, coming over here. We have a few of these annoying guys right here. Can we kick them off? We can, nice. Alright, grab that, and then we've got two of them just chilling out over here. So what I'm going to do is run and then plunge attack. Cool, and we got both of them. Alright, this one has a parasite attached to him, so we're going to get rid of that. Pull out the catalyst and just kill him by range. Alright, we have another cage head down here. Uh, at launch, you had three cage heads to deal with here. Now we've only got one. Alright, we're going to throw him off the side. Nice. Okay, from here we're going to go into Umbral. Right, there are three locks on this main door here, so your first one being up here. The second one is to the very left. And the third one is right down the bottom here. Now we don't have any butterflies ambush us or anything like that. We do have a bunch of little guys. And since I've got a lot of withered health, I'd really like to hit something so I can get all that back as much as possible. Nice. Okay, this belly here has a quest item for Dunmire. So you want to pick that up. Book of Sin. You can just collect these for the moment and just hand them all over at once. Uh, there's good four or five of them, I think. I'll just hand them into them whenever I get a chance. Alright, grab the third lock. Come all the way back. And you want to unlock right from here we're gonna climb down
Don't worry about planting a seed because we're about to unlock a shortcut. Um, if you're looking for ways to upgrade your FP too, don't worry, that happens naturally. Same with your ammunition. Uh, it will just, the more item, uh, items, the more levels you go up, the slight increase you'll get. Alright, so, you'll probably hear, hear me refer to the, the base game like at launch a lot, because like there's a lot of changes. This just used to be a straight walkthrough, and now for some reason they've added a hole there. I kind of get it, it sort of pulls the area together a lot easier. Um, you can hear this annoying lady talking. She is the blacksmith. Alright, so we do want to rescue her. To do that, we need to kill this guy. So we're just going to give him a good plunge. Oh, okay. Alright, these dogs, kick them in the face. Kick them again, and you can generally do a, uh... A critical attack on them. And there's normally a couple more dogs hiding around here. Instead we have a butterfly. Oh, get away from that. Why did she disappear? That's weird. Okay, before exiting Umbral, or if you're not in Umbral, get into it. I swear I saw another butterfly. That's, this is so strange. Uh, anyways, you want to come over here. Pull open this. Alright, we got the defiance ring. And come over to where we killed the holy guy. He'll give you a key. Um, I think I am going to exit Umbral. If I can. All right, <coughs> from here, excuse me, what you can do is exit to the main menu once her dialogue is exhausted. Go back to continue and she should be disappeared. Should be disappeared. She should be back at uh, Skybridge. Nice. All right, the door should be open and there should be a delirium fragment right here. From this way, there is a door. All right, we need the Pilgrim's Perch key to open that. Uh, it's got an amulet behind it. The enemies go like triple strength to the ones we just fought. So even if you, for some reason, bought that uh, particular key, you don't want to use it there. Um, all right, so first things first, we're unlocking the shortcut. We do have a mini boss that we're coming up against, so I'm going to level up. I feel like Umbral's either added uh, enemy placements or they've added like randomizers to the Umbral world so that you get invaded, not invaded, but like, I guess invaded by like random enemies. I don't know, that's odd. I mean, so far it hasn't made much difference to the walkthrough, so that is fine. Um, yes, we need to rest. Okay, coming back down here. Funnily enough, we have two bosses in a row coming up. Uh, depending on how quick I beat this one, I may even take on the, the entry-level entry boss to the new area. Alright. Cool. Now you do want to climb down this ladder because you'll take fall damage from this. Alright, we want to bring up the elevator. Alright, 
Oh, now I can level up. I was like only a couple of hundred off then. So this is another fight where Bucket Lord will join you. Uh, it's a mini boss. So it is a Sin Piercer enemy. These all become basic enemies later on. So it's a bow and arrow user. It also has uh, three dogs that will come into the fight. Um, try to let Bucket Lord just do his thing on the dogs. If they get annoying, take them out. He will respawn them or recall them later on in the fight. Uh, for the moment, talk to Damaros. All right, she'll allow you to buy stuff from her. Uh, if you want, you can buy, like, well, you'll need these for your trophies. So you need, like, the throwable, you need the uh, Inferno spell, you'll need the weapons if you haven't already got these. Right, so before we do anything, add Holy to the weapon, pick up the item, and we're just going to run towards her. Now, when she pulls out her bow and arrow, you can obviously run to the side, which is great does have pretty good poise. Alright, Bucket Lord's coming in. If you get too close to her and she starts doing melee stuff, um, just get away from it as soon as possible. This dog is really annoying. Go away. Right, the melee damage that she does has killed me more often than her bloody arrows. Oh. Nice. That was unintentional, but I'll take it. Yep. Go back at Lord. Nice. Alright, so we got the Sin Piercer armor, even better. Oh, I like the look of that. Although we have already picked up the uh, antique hallowed sentinel armor, which isn't as bad as I mean it's a little bit worse than what I'm wearing now, but still, cool. Nice. Alright, don't plant a seed there, it's stupid because there's a vestige down here. Alright, grab the Pride of the Bucket Lords, so that's two. Not bothered about taking the damage there. Um, I will go over the Bowl of Revelation, so the boss sort of thing next episode. I think I might just try and take this next boss out. So, adding two endurance. I'll get that to about 15 and then I'll start on radiance to get to that. Get that about, uh, I don't know, 30, I'd say would be a safe bet. Alright, now, if you do struggle with this boss, just die to him. There will be summons. Alright. First off, pick up the map. Talk to Thick Ear. Alright. He'll give you an emote. Upgraded his stock a little bit. May your path be blessed. Right. First things first. We just want to put holy on our weapon. And then run all the way here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to die against this guy. So we'll always go first attempt and then go to the winning attempt. Alright. We have the congregator of flesh. So first off what you want to do is just sort of siphon. Try and get rid of the parasite that's around him. This guy does heavy AoE attacks. There it is. Alright. So yeah, he'll fall back. Uh, even trying to stagger him, he doesn't really stagger that easy. And I've never seen a point where his little lock-on marker goes red. So I wouldn't bother trying to stagger him per se.
Alright, once he jumps up, just dodge backwards. He'll do like a poison sort of fleshy vomit thing. Alright, that was where he throws like a, a vomit corpse wave at you, it's kind of weird. Very powerful, so do be careful. Uh, the poison that he does like will build up throughout the whole fight. More so towards the end of the fight than anything. Oh lord, he did a rush attack. Oh, I'm, oh no, he ate me. Ha! Ah. I was like, cool, did I manage to dodge that? No, I did not. Alright. I have one health left. Not to mention, Umbral is an option as well. I mean, I'd rather not die because I feel like I'm be doing well here. So just for the record, this is not one of the fights you need to summon for, it just helps a hell of a lot. Nice, and we killed him. Even better. I think we're poisoned. We're probably going to die. Neutralizes poison. Are we still poisoned? No, we're not. Nice. Awesome. So anyway, we need to come into Umbral. So we're going to grab his stigma. And then we're going to find the exit out of here. Alright, don't go back into the real world, there is no point. What we want to do is follow this bridge, grab the item, lock onto the enemy and drop down. Alright. Before we hit the vestige, which is right in front of us, we're going to come to the right hand side here. We're going to pick up the... is it poison? Yeah, poison resistance. And we're going to follow this little path for an enemy at the end and an item. Poison arrows, that's what I thought we were getting before. Nice. Now, these guys uh, actually have their own unique armor set. Alright, so if you are looking for all armor, you want to sort of farm them. I think it's, it's a three-piece rather than a four-piece. <clears throat> Alright, we'll go back to the Vestige. We'll talk about the Bowl of Revelations. Um, for the meantime. Upgrade. Nice. Okay, come over here and talk to him. Alright, so that's Byron. <laughs> As you may have figured out. Alright, we're going to... I've been calling it Sky Bridge. Is it Sky Bridge or Sky Rest? Uh, I, meh, I have no idea. Anyways, uh, continue on to Mogul over here. All right, hand over the bowl of revelations. Cool. So, offer remembrance, which is what we get when we uh, look at the stigma. All right, I will be looking for Pieta's blade, so I need forty. So I need six more. I could purchase these, but I want to get these naturally, so it's not too much of a worry for me. Coming over here, just looking through this sort of stuff. Uh, this particular Saint Latimer's relic spear. Um, nope, this is the wrong enemy that I was thinking of. These are, uh, that's an umbral spell. That's an actual weapon. There's a particular umbral spell you can get from one of the bosses. I think it might be the next one coming up. 
and it is amazing so I might lean towards a couple of umbral spells towards the end anyways um, but for now I just need six scours so that's fine uh, we have Andreas over here all right what he's done is given us the five key that's an area that we'll be tackling a little bit later so I'm not going to worry about it now we're going to come over here talk to Grilindi Grilinda, my bad. Alright, so from here you can upgrade your equipment, alright? Um, I will actually upgrade one of my hammers. No, I won't because I don't have the vigor for it, that's fine. I know I'm a little bit over time, I'm just going to sell a whole bunch of crap. Cool, that'll be fine. Now, which one is the plus two? That's what I'm confused about. So that's the plus two, so I really want that one there, that one there, cool. Alright, let's go back to the fan, Forsaken fan. This area can be kind of uh, tricky, I suppose that all areas can be kind of tricky. This one in particular is more your poison swamp area, so I guess that's what we've got to look forward to. Thank you all for watching, hit that like button, subscribe to the page, I'll see you here next time.